Hello, my name is Gitis, and today we are going to unpack uh, this really nice kit I received from Arduino with a couple of their new products. As usual, the box uh, have uh, this taped all over it uh, with We Love uh, Open Source slogan along with the uh, Arduino logo. We are sure that it's genuine product and uh, you should always choose uh, original, genuine products that are made uh, by Arduino. Now let's get started with the package. usual some plastic protection to ensure the boards are all safe and let's dig into what's exactly in the package bear with me while I remove all these plastic uh, fillers and here we go we've got two boards I'll just show them in a second Bear with me while I make some space on my really tiny workspace. Here we go. So what we have here is actually two uh, new products uh, by Arduino. And let's get started with uh, Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. Now let's see. Uh, Let's see its specification and uh, just uh, uh, let's think what can we actually build with it. It does have uh, connectivity integrated and you might see that it's actually uh, getting quite common that uh, new, uh, more advanced uh, Arduino boards really does have connectivity right away with them. So we've got Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth. Let's see what else uh, is important here. We have 32 kilobytes of RAM. Well, don't get scared and uh, not uh, don't uh, start uh, comparing it with your phones where it comes uh, to gigabytes. It's plenty and more than enough for this little board. Then we do have uh, flash memory that is uh, 256 kilobytes for your code to upload your program uh, to the device and. There's also eight kilobytes of data for the program to store it, I would assume. As usual, we have quite some interfaces. Word, I do I2C, SPI, basically the, the usual uh, ones. And what's especially interesting for me is that we have CAN interface. Uh, this interface is really common in industrial equipment and uh, cars. Indeed, uh, dashboards, lights, all kind of control uh, uh, control um, controls is happening indeed in uh, in modern cars now using this uh, um, networking bus. So it's really great that uh, there is an kind of interface integrated in this board. Uh, you don't need uh, to add additional shield. Uh, that is uh, essentially extra hardware on top of it. Uh, we do have, uh, we see that it's it has 5 volts um, operating uh, you know, voltage, essentially quite standard one. And uh, it's really nice to see that it also supports from 6 to 24 volts. That is, it's uh, completely compatible with uh, in-car or in-truck uh, applications. 12 volts is a standard one in cars, uh, so you might uh, just as well uh, have a good chance to plug this little device along with a CAN interface uh, to your car right away. Uh, 
14 digital uh, pins to get uh, input or output for uh, digital devices. Uh, also six analog ones. That's really uh, that's really great. And we see digital audio converter, right? There's one uh, one um, port for it. We do have uh, quite uh, quite some uh, LED uh, matrix right here. You can see that it's 12 by 8 uh, there. And I'm pretty sure you all want uh, to see what how exactly this little board looks like. Right. Let's let's unpack it carefully. And as usual, I always try to try to note uh, that uh, basically this uh, little badge confirms that it's authentic original Arduino product. You 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 should always look uh, for these ones on the boxes to make sure. And it's as you might see, it's designed and assembled in Italy. So let's see how this little board looks like. That's just a reminder. We are unpacking Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. Right here in the box we also have some labels for the model Arduino Uno R4 for Wi-Fi. Also, as usual, some really cool uh, Arduino stickers. Then uh, the user manual. Yeah, make sure to read it through and follow along uh, also on line one. And here is the board itself. I'll do a quick close up for you to see the board indeed. You can see that it's uh, mounted on uh, this uh, little glass uh, frame. It's quite convenient. Uh, you can mount it right right away on your uh, uh, devices. Uh, actually, uh, mount it, let's say, on on certain you know box or shell uh, to get get right away uh, during uh, specific applications and uh, projects. Right there, we do have uh, all pins listed on the side. That's very convenient. Also right here and you can see that this uh, as it was mentioned it does have this um, sorry I'm, I'm already looking at the ESP, esp32 board but it's actually we are currently looking at uh, uno r4 so essentially what i wanted to highlight it's actually it has this 12 by 8 uh, led matrix so we could already output some uh, some things uh, right away uh, from from the board and for me it's especially interesting since it uh, mentions that it has a CAN interface I would really be uh, uh, trying out uh, this little device uh, to actually plugging it into a car's network and trying to display something right, right away from onto this uh, LED matrix how cool is that yeah we can see that it uh, has ESP32 has three mini one chipset right here and here so here's is this uh, nice little device let's put it right here and uh, to the side and now let's then unpack another board which i've also got uh, in this uh, in in uh, this uh, nice uh, package that is a Nano ESP32 board. What it does uh, say additionally, it it comes with <clears throat> headers, and yeah, as usual, you could see that it's genuine Arduino product. It has this hol holographic sticker, is assembled in Italy, and let's go quickly through uh, those uh, technical uh, parameters. So again, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, really convenient. It comes right away. Also, it has eight megabytes of internal memory and 16 megabytes of external memory. That's really nice. It's also equipped with uh, 512 kilobytes of internal RAM. That's essentially quite uh, 
a quite powerful little machine and I would say it's it shouldn't be any problems uh, to run web server or uh, kind of a more modern uh, indeed application on it uh, voltage so you can plug a USB uh, power source here though it's uh, operating uh, voltage is 3.3 volts however you can also plug it into your car as you can see it has from 6 to 21 volt uh, right uh, 14 digital um, pins 8 analog ones really nice powerful little device now let's unpack this uh, box as well and let's see what's inside yeah since it comes with the headers uh, you, we are expecting uh, to have it you know with some uh, some sharp edges there therefore it comes on on, on this uh, sponge uh, pad so here as usual again we receive some uh, stickers a manual thanking uh, for choosing uh, arduino also a uh, little specification and the link to, uh, to download the documentation that would be electronic one yeah so let's uh, look at the board itself I'll do uh, like a quick uh, close-up as well. We'll just remove it right away so that uh, basically the entire board is visible. Here we go. It's really tiny, tiny board. And also the pins are clearly clearly marked easy to see and easy to start prototyping your product so thanks uh, to arduino for sending me these boards and uh, i'm sure i'll be very curious to try them out uh, in uh, real life in real life conditions especially you know since uh, you might uh, be aware that i'm very interested in car diagnostics so for sure i'll be plugging this uno r4 to actual real uh, car network uh, since it has uh, can interface stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching